Gujarati, Gujarati, Gujarati is an Indo-Aryan language native to the Indian state of Gujarat and spoken predominantly by the Gujarati people. Gujarati is part of the Greater Indo-European language family. Gujarati is descended from Old Gujarati, circa 1100 to 1500 AD. In India, it is the official language in the state of Gujarat, as well as an official language in the Union territories of Daman and Diu and Dadra and Nagar Haveli. As of 2011, Gujarati is the sixth most widely spoken language in India by number of native speakers, spoken by 55.5 million speakers which amounts to about 4.5% of the total Indian population. It is the 26th most widely spoken language in the world by number of native speakers as of 2007. The Gujarati language is more than 700 years old and is spoken by more than 55 million people worldwide. Outside of Gujarat, Gujarati is spoken in many other parts of South Asia by Gujarati migrants, especially in Mumbai and Pakistan, mainly in Karachi. Gujarati is also widely spoken in many countries outside South Asia by the Gujarati diaspora. In North America, Gujarati is one of the fastest growing and most widely spoken Indian languages in Canada and the United States. In Europe, Gujaratis form the second largest of the British South Asian speech communities, and Gujarati is the fourth most commonly spoken language in the UK's capital London. Gujarati is also spoken in Southeast Africa, particularly in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Zambia and South Africa. Elsewhere, Gujarati is spoken to a lesser extent in China, particularly Hong Kong, Indonesia, Singapore, Australia, and Middle Eastern countries such as Bahrain. Gujarati was the mother tongue of Mahatma Gandhi and Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Topic: History. Topic: Gujarati, also sometimes spelled Gujarati, 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 Gujarati. Gujarati, and Gujarati is a modern Ia language evolved from Sanskrit. The traditional practice is to differentiate the Ia languages on the basis of three historical stages Old Ia Vedic and classical Sanskrit, Middle Ia various Prakrits and Apabramshas, New Ia modern languages such as Hindi, Punjabi, Bengali, etc. Another view postulates successive family tree splits, in which Gujarati is assumed to have separated from other Ia languages in four stages. Ia languages split into northern, eastern, and western divisions based on the innovate characteristics such as plosives becoming voiced in the northern skt, danta, tooth. Greater than punj, dand, and dental and retroflex sibilants merging with the palatal in the eastern skt, sandhya, evening. Greater than bang, saj. Western, into central and southern. Central, in Gujarati, Rajasthani, Western Hindi, and Punjabi, Lahanda, Sindhi, on the basis of innovation of auxiliary verbs and post positions in Gujarati, Rajasthani. Gujarati, Rajasthani into Gujarati and Rajasthani through development of such characteristics as auxiliary ch and the possessive marker n during the 15th century. The principal changes from Sanskrit are the following Phonological Loss of original phonemic length for vowels, Change of consonant clusters to geminate and then to single consonants with compensatory vowel length, morphological Reduction in the number of compounds, Merger of the dual with plural. Replacement of case affixes by postpositions Development of periphrastic tense, voice, mood constructions Syntax Splittergativity More complex agreement system Gujarati is then customarily divided into the following three historical stages Topic. Old Gujarati Topic. Topic. Middle Gujarati Topic. Topic. Modern Gujarati AD 1800. Topic. A major phonological change was the deletion of final, such that the modern language has consonant final words. Grammatically, a new plural marker of O developed. In literature, the third quarter of the 19th century saw a series of milestones for Gujarati, which previously had had verse as its dominant mode of literary composition. <laughs> Demographics and distribution 
Topic. Of the approximately 46 million speakers of Gujarati in 1997, roughly 45.5 million resided in India, 150,000 in Uganda, 50,000 in Tanzania, 50,000 in Kenya and roughly 100,000 in Karachi, Pakistan, excluding several hundreds of thousands of Memonis who do not self-identify as Gujarati, but hail from a region within the state of Gujarat. However, Gujarati community leaders in Pakistan claim that there are 3 million Gujarati speakers in Karachi. Elsewhere in Pakistan, Gujarati is also spoken in Lower Punjab. Pakistani Gujarati is probably a dialect of Gamadia. There is a certain amount of Mauritian population and a large amount of Reunion Island people who are from Gujarati descent, among which some of them still speak Gujarati. A considerable Gujarati speaking population exists in North America, most particularly in the New York City metropolitan area and in the Greater Toronto area, which have over 100,000 speakers and over 75,000 speakers, respectively, but also throughout the major metropolitan areas of the United States and Canada. According to the 2011 census, Gujarati is the 17th most spoken language in the Greater Toronto area, and the fourth most spoken South Asian language after Hindi Urdu, Punjabi and Tamil. The UK has over 200,000 speakers, many of them situated in the London area, especially in north-west London, but also in Birmingham, Manchester, and in Leicester, Coventry, Bradford and the former mill towns within Lancashire. A portion of these numbers consists of East African Gujaratis who, under increasing discrimination and policies of Africanization in their newly independent resident countries especially Uganda, where Idi Amin expelled 50,000 Asians, were left with uncertain futures and citizenships. Most, with British passports, settled in the UK. Gujarati is offered as a GCSE subject for students in the UK. Gujarati parents in the diaspora are not comfortable with the possibility of their language not surviving them. In a study, 80% of Malayali parents felt that children would be better off with English. Compared to 36% of Kannada parents and only 19% of Gujarati parents, besides being spoken by the Gujarati people, non-Gujarati residents of and migrants to the state of Gujarat also count as speakers, among them the Kuchis as a literary language, the Parsis adopted as a mother tongue, and Hindu-Sindhi refugees from Pakistan. A distribution of the geographical area can be found in Linguistic Survey of India by George A. Grierson. Topic. Official status Topic. Gujarati is one of the 22 official languages and 14 regional languages of India. It is officially recognized in the state of Gujarat, India and the Union territories of Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu. Gujarati is recognized and taught as a minority language in the states of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu and the Union Territory of Delhi. Dialects <inaudible> 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 According to British historian and philologist William Tisdall, who was an early scholar of Gujarati grammar, three major varieties of Gujarati exist, a standard Hindu dialect, a Parsi dialect and a Muslim dialect. However, Gujarati has undergone contemporary reclassification with respect to the widespread regional differences in vocabulary and phrasing, notwithstanding the number of poorly attested dialects and regional variations in naming. Standard Gujarati, this forms something of a standardized variant of Gujarati across news, education and government. It is also spoken in pockets of Maharashtra. The varieties of it include Mumbai Gujarati, Nagari, Patnuli, Saurashtra Standard. Gamadia, spoken primarily in Ahmedabad and the surrounding regions, in addition to Baruch and Surat, where it is colloquially known as Surati. The varieties of it include Ahmedabad Gamadia, Anila, Brathila, Charatari, Eastern Broch Gujarati, Gramya, Patani, Patadari, Sarati, Vedadari. Kathiawari, a distinctive variant spoken primarily in the Kathiawar region and subject to significant Sindhi influence. The varieties of it include Bhavnagari, Gohilwadi, Holadi, Halari, Jalawadi, Sorathi, Karwa, Kakari, and Taramuki are also often cited as additional varieties of Gujarati. Parsi, spoken by the Zoroastrian Parsi minority. This highly distinctive variety has been subject to considerable lexical influence by Avestan, the liturgical Zoroastrian language. 
Lisan Ud Dawat, spoken primarily by Gujarati Muslim Bora communities, it has been subject to greater lexical influence by Arabic and Persian and is written in the Arabic script. Kuchi is often referred to as a dialect of Gujarati, but most linguists consider it closer to Sindhi. In addition, a mixture between Sindhi, Gujarati, and Kuchi called Memoni is related to Gujarati, albeit distantly. Furthermore, words used by the native languages of areas where the Gujarati people have become a diaspora community, such as East Africa, Swahili, have become loanwords in local dialects of Gujarati. Topic: <laughs> Phonology. Topic. Topic Vowels Topic Topic Consonants Topic Topic Writing system Topic Similar to other Nagari writing systems, the Gujarati script is an abugida. It is used to write the Gujarati and Kuchi languages. It is a variant of Devanagari script differentiated by the loss of the characteristic horizontal line running above the letters and by a small number of modifications in the remaining characters. Gujarati and closely related languages, including Kuchi and Parkari Koli, can be written in the Arabic or Persian scripts. This is traditionally done by many in Gujarat's Kutch district. Vocabulary Topic Topic Categorization and sources Topic These are the three general categories of words in modern Indo-Aryan tatsam tadbhav and loanwords Topic tadbhav Topic Tadbhava Tadbhava, of the nature of that. Gujarati is a modern Indo-Aryan language descended from Sanskrit Old Indo-Aryan, and this category pertains exactly to that, words of Sanskritic origin that have demonstratively undergone change over the ages, ending up characteristic of modern Indo-Aryan languages specifically as well as in general. Thus the that in of the nature of that refers to Sanskrit. They tend to be non-technical, everyday, crucial words, part of the spoken vernacular. Below is a table of a few Gujarati Tadbhav words and their old Indo-Aryan sources. Topic. Tatsam Topic. Tatsama Tatsama Same as that. While Sanskrit eventually stopped being spoken vernacularly, in that it changed into Middle Indo-Aryan, it was nonetheless standardized and retained as a literary and liturgical language for long after. This category consists of these borrowed words of more or less pure Sanskrit character. They serve to enrich Gujarati and modern Indo-Aryan in its formal, technical, and religious vocabulary. They are recognizable by their Sanskrit inflections and markings, they are thus often treated as a separate grammatical category unto themselves. Many old Tatsam words have changed their meanings or have had their meanings adopted for modern times. Prasarana prasaran means, spreading, but now it is used for, broadcasting. In addition to this are neologisms, often being calcs. An example is telephone, which is Greek for, far talk, translated as durabasa durbas. Though most people just use phone a phone and thus Neo-Sanskrit has varying degrees of acceptance. So, while having unique Tadbhav sets, modern Ia languages have a common, higher Tatsam pool. Also, Tatsams and their derived Tadbhavs can also coexist in a language, sometimes of no consequence and at other times with differences in meaning. What remains are words of foreign origin Vidisi, as well as words of local origin that cannot be pegged as belonging to any of the three prior categories desaj". The former consists mainly of Persian, Arabic, and English, with trace elements of Portuguese and Turkish. While the phenomenon of English loanwords is relatively new, Perso-Arabic has a longer history behind it. Both English and Perso-Arabic influences are quite nationwide phenomena, in a way paralleling Tatsam as a common vocabulary set or bank. 
What's more is how, beyond a transposition into general Indo-Aryan, the Perso-Arabic set has also been assimilated in a manner characteristic and relevant to the specific Indo-Aryan language it is being used in, bringing to mind Tadbav. Perso-Arabic India was ruled for many a century by Persian-speaking Muslims, amongst the most notable being the Turco-Afghan Delhi Sultanate, and the Turco-Mongol Mughal dynasty. As a consequence Indian languages were changed greatly, with the large-scale entry of Persian and its many Arabic loans into the Gujarati lexicon. One fundamental adoption was Persian's conjunction that K. Also, while Tatsum or Sanskrit is etymologically continuous to Gujarati, it is essentially of a differing grammar or language, and that in comparison while Perso-Arabic is etymologically foreign, it has been in certain instances and to varying degrees grammatically indigenized. Owing to centuries of situation and the end of Persian education and power, one Perso-Arabic loans are quite unlikely to be thought of or known as loans, and two more importantly, these loans have often been Gujarati is Davo, claim, Fido, benefit, Natiyo, result, and Hamlo, attack, all carry Gujarati's masculine gender marker, O. Kanu compartment, has the neuter U. Aside from easy slotting with the auxiliary karvu, a few words have made a complete transition of verbification, kabulvu to admit fault, karadvu to buy, karakvu to spend money, gujarvu to pass. The last three are definite part and parcel. Below is a table displaying a number of these loans. Currently some of the etymologies are being referenced to an Urdu dictionary so that Gujarati S singular masculine O corresponds to Urdu A, neuter U groups into A as Urdu has no neuter gender, and Urdu S Persian Z is not upheld in Gujarati and corresponds to J or JH. In contrast to modern Persian, the pronunciation of these loans into Gujarati and other Indo-Aryan languages, as well as that of Indian recited Persian, seems to be in line with Persian spoken in Afghanistan and Central Asia, perhaps 500 years ago. Lastly, Persian, being part of the Indo-Iranian language family as Sanskrit and Gujarati are, met up in some instances with its cognates. Zoroastrian Persian refugees known as Parsis also speak an accordingly Persianized form of Gujarati. English With the end of Perso-Arabic inflow, English became the current foreign source of new vocabulary. English had and continues to have a considerable influence over Indian languages. Loanwords include new innovations and concepts, first introduced directly through British colonialism, and then streaming in on the basis of continued English language dominance in the post-colonial period. Besides the category of new ideas is the category of English words that already have Gujarati counterparts which end up replaced or existed alongside with. The major driving force behind this latter category has to be the continuing role of English in modern India as a language of education, prestige, and mobility. In this way, Indian speech can be sprinkled with English words and expressions, even switches to whole sentences. See Hinglish, code switching. In matters of sound, English alveolar consonants map as retroflexes rather than dentals. Two new characters were created in Gujarati to represent English, a, s and S. Levels of Gujaratiization in sound vary. Some words don't go far beyond this basic transpositional rule, and sound much like their English source, while others differ in ways, one of those ways being the carrying of dentals. See Indian English. As English loanwords are a relatively new phenomenon, they adhere to English grammar, as tatsum words adhere to Sanskrit. Though that isn't to say that the most basic changes have been underway, many English words are pluralized with Gujarati O over English. S. Also, with Gujarati having three genders, genderless English words must take one. Though often inexplicable, gender assignment may follow the same basis as it is expressed in Gujarati, vowel type, and the nature of word meaning. One these English forms are often used prominently by NRIs for those family friends and elders that aren't actually uncles and aunts but are of the age. Topic. Portuguese. Topic. The smaller foothold the Portuguese had in wider India had linguistic effects. 
Gujarati took up a number of words, while elsewhere the influence was great enough to the extent that Creole languages came to be see Portuguese India, Portuguese-based Creole languages in India and Sri Lanka. Comparatively, the impact of Portuguese has been greater on coastal languages and their loans tend to be closer to the Portuguese originals. The source dialect of these loans imparts an earlier pronunciation of ch as an affricate instead of the current standard of 1. Lengthen 2. Common occupational surname 3. Master Topic. Loans into English Topic. Bungalow Cooley Tank Topic. Grammar Topic. Gujarati is a head final, or left branching language. Adjectives precede nouns, direct objects come before verbs, and there are postpositions. The word order of Gujarati is SOV, and there are three genders and two numbers. There are no definite or indefinite articles. A verb is expressed with its verbal root followed by suffixes marking aspect and agreement in what is called a main form, with a possible preceding auxiliary form derived from to be, marking tense and mood, and also showing agreement. Causatives up to double and passives have a morphological basis. <laughs> Sample text Gujarati script Devanagari script Transliteration IAST Gandhijini Jumpti Karadijig Prasad Dandi Kuk Pachi Gandhiji A Ambana Vrux Nice Kajuri N Chatiani Ek Jumpdim Top Point One Four to Four Minus One Thousand Nine Hundred Thirty T Top Point Four to Five Minus One Thousand Nine Hundred Thirty Sudi Nivas Karyohato Dandim Chad the April Saru Karali Nimak Kanun Mithana Satyagraha Bangni Ladatni Temni Ahinthi Veg Api De Vyapi Banavi Hadi Ahinthi Ya Temni Darasnana Mithana Agro Taraf Kuk Karvano Patano Sankalp Brightus Vesaroyane Patra Lakhine Genevio Hato Top Point Four Timi 1930 Ni Ratna Bar Vagya Pachi A Saint Healthy Brightus Sarkari Temni Darapked Kari Hadi Transcription IPA Ended Inni D Upi Ki D Peace thy cut, point, I end id, i e emben k nit, e k d, un t, i niek d, upam, blank, underscore t i, blank, sud i nis kyoto, im t, i epil u kelly nim nun b ni limitin me t i e p de j p beniti, t id, me d, n me n o t f cut, no pot no sleepy b jagne point eek i n e d, joto. Underscore underscore T I me underscore 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 ni T N B J point I street at I B ski to me D P K T simple gloss Gandhiji S hut Karadi world famous dandy march after Gandhiji here mango S tree under palm date S bark S one hut in date point one four to four minus one thousand nine hundred thirty from date point four to five minus one thousand nine hundred thirty until residence done was. Dandy in 6th April it started done salt law break. S fight to he here from speed gave country wide made was. Here from he darasana. S salt. S mounds towards march doing. S self. S resolve British viceroy to letter written having notified was. Date point four from May 1930. S night. S12 struck after this place at from British government his arrest done was. Transliteration and detailed gloss. Translation Gandhiji S. Hut Karadai After the world famous Dandi March, Gandhiji resided here in a date palm bark hut underneath a, the mango tree, from 14 April 1930 to 5 April 1930. From here, he gave speed to and spread country wide the anti salt law struggle, started in Dandi on 6 April. From here, writing in a letter, he notified the British Viceroy of his resolve of marching towards the salt mounds of Darasana. The British government arrested him at this location, after 12 o'clock on the night of 4 May 1930. Translation provided at location Gandhiji's hut Karadai here under the mango tree in the hut made of palm leaves Kajori Gandhiji stayed from 14 April 1930 to 5 April 1930 after the world-famous Dandi March. From here he gave impetus to the civil disobedience movement for breaking the SALT Act started on 6 April at Dandi and turned it into a nationwide movement. 
It was also from this place that he wrote a letter to the British Viceroy expressing his firm resolve to march to the salt works at Dharasana. This is the place from where he was arrested by the British government after midnight on 4 May 1930. Topic see also topic Gujarati literature Gujarati journalism Lists of Gujarati language writers Old Gujarati language Lisan Ud Dawid Il Alvia Language of Alavi Boras topic References topic topic Bibliography topic topic External links topic Gujarati language at Curly Gujarati language at Encyclopedia Britannica Gujarati Online Dictionary and Language Resources Bharatiya Bhasha Jyoti, Gujarati, a textbook for learning Gujarati through Hindi from the Central Institute of Indian Languages. English to Gujarati Dictionary